Level. I didn't realize we were in New Mexico last night and I didn't realize the altitude was dipping there too. Yeah. And like halfway through the set, I was like, oh, whoa. It's like, I'm getting old. And I was like, wait, no, it's just the altitude. Maybe it's both. Yeah, no idea. Uh, yeah, so this first one's puppeteer. Let's see. Yeah, so this is uh, gibberish, and you know we do this on the boys' summer tour every night. Boys' is summer, sweet. Yes. Anybody coming out to the show tonight? Yeah, we got some. Oh, sweet. I'll be there. You be there? <laughs> so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. All right, cool. So this is gibberish. Let's go.
why you took me like that You like about the others, don't care about the number You all deserve each other, why you took me like that So now we're saying take it all back You know me, just take it all back I swear before you go the next day I'm getting so fast Yeah, I don't need it But now I'm running your mouth But there's nothing that can slow me down I'm messing around Got me thinking that it's time to go Just trying to smash. First day I'm sitting back. But I'm super ringing and taking the jazz. First of all, sin. Ringing the past, we just made. She arranged your legs like stop. Just hold up. Not the time to get home. So if I go hard, I'm supposed to. You back down like a poster. Oh, wait, he's on my poster. I'm signed by George Lee. I swear you said you don't know me. Girl, listen, you kind of look real. Who says? And I'm already your best. I already got a million problems and I ain't trying to get this. I did my best to move away. She followed me with that bouquet. So I shake my head, but I'm so crazy. So it's far like you're a person. Switch it up, we like to do new things. So, uh, this is uh, this is a cover I just put out with my own Kurt of uh, one of my favorite songs out now. This is a uh, Lean On by uh, Major Laser and DJ Snake. Yeah, really good. You good? Oh, okay. Okay, so we <laughs> Somebody lean 
this last one, you know, anytime we come to these stations, we even, even when we're sitting on the couch, chilling or sitting on our couches, we, uh, we like to get a little live. We like to make the room, you know, energized a little bit. So this last one is, is my song, Mugshot. And, you know, no, you know, that's a good chant. She knows what it is. Um, so, so, you know, don't be shy. Let's, let's sing it out. Let's make the room alive. And uh, it goes like this. You know what it is. So it goes. state fairs and, and uh, it was nice it was like first time I was like wow you can just like sing and play music with like people you love and your friends and people will come hopefully so that's when I fell in love with touring you're like oh cool so yeah it was awesome yeah we're back there sure. oh back to you my dude what well, advice sure. would you give to anyone who wants a career in music I'd say uh never give up don't do it <laughs> <laughs> 
no, I think uh, I think I think it's it's uh, ne never give up on it because uh, there's way more rejection than there is you know people accepting, and uh, and it's and it's all about being being you because in the end the reason why you'll go go far and 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 have a have longevity is because of of your unique qualities and sometimes people won't dig those but people that do that's why you, you keep doing it so try to stay try to stay resilient and uh, and if and if you can't imagine yourself doing anything else then there's there's no option you know so that's that's what it's like with me and Ryan over here Adam with me. <laughs> Oh, there you go. Are you excited for your headliner show here in oh, October? So oh, excited. Is that even kind of that? Are we going to that? Oh, yes, it is. Take us a minute. Sounds like this was cool. It's blood. Um, no, yeah, I'm so excited. We, we got some, uh, we want this to be like the most, we, I just, we have so many ideas. We, we went to a Miguel show the other night, too, and just like us, yeah, anybody look again? I mean, yeah. like, what a sexy king, man. Um, yeah, just, I just love going to shows and being like, wow, I just want to like, do so do this thing and this thing combine them all. So anyway, in short, yes, I'm very excited. We've been plotting and scheming and we're excited to make it, you know, a special show. So yeah. I hope you guys enjoy it too. There'll be a lot of, you know, naked Ryan dancing. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> what inspired you to well be a magician in the first place? Oh my gosh. I mean, I guess just like I always, you know, I tell the story that I grew up in New York and uh, I went to my first like Broadway show when I was a little kid. I came home and I like reenacted the whole thing. And uh, for my parents, I'm like living room table. And I just, I don't know, I just, I just uh, caught the bug early, I guess. And, uh, and I love listening to old soul music and just people who just like gave it up on stage. Everything, you could just tell that everything they had, they left on that stage every night. So that just inspired me. I was like, cool, hopefully I'll do that and I can like make a living and eat food and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so it would be great if music got me to eat like a whole meal. That's the goal. Yeah, if you can make enough money in music to buy yourself a pizza, you know, a whole pie, you can, you can, you've succeeded. That's like three meals in. That's three meals in. Well, yeah. depending no, on. No, that's how. three days of meals. I don't know what kind of pizza you're eating. <laughs> uh, a, a pie from Domino's is one night. Oh, we're doing knockdown. I mean, anything like that. <laughs> okay. I'll take that's, one. That's, that's one night. That's one night, okay. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. 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 How was the transac transaction from actor to musician? Oh, yeah, the transition was. was uh, it's it's kind of an ongoing transition. It's like it's it's I don't know. It's it's kind of cool because I, I love I love seeing people. Like, you know, I'd like to you know I love Justin Timberlake and people have careers where they can jump between the two. Uh, but I think at one point you got to choose which one you are in your focus. And even with JT, I love seeing him in like the, the social network and stuff like that. But then he's a, he's a music guy. He's you know prop superstar king of the world. So um, I'd love to, I'd love focusing on. I've always wanted music to be my life and, and getting to jump in and do some parts here and there. It's it's, it's fun. But it's definitely hard. It's hard to, you know, people see you a certain way always, and to try to get out of that box and just be like, yo, that's cool you saw me like that, but hopefully you can dig this music stuff that I'm doing too. Is uh, It's tough, but it's worth it. Cool. Your turn. Uh, you came up first, so sorry. Um, what's your favorite thing to do um, for passing time when going state to state? Um, playing with Ryan's hair. Is, uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. Yesterday I was playing with your hair, now you're playing with mine. Yeah, well, you're trying to switch it up, man. <laughs> We, we, we're like monkeys. We take care of each other. Okay. Yeah, it's true. It's my big brother. Um, no, we love uh, we love bowling. We say that a lot. Uh, still not very good at it, but it's trying. Play a lot. Uh, no, we uh, do that. We uh, they actually this tour is awesome because there's a lot of activities. Like people have little mini motorcycles that they bought with lights on them and stuff. So we ride those around yeah. and uh, glow in the dark frisbees, frisbees are fun. and Fight Club. That's a good time. You're not supposed to talk about Sorry. it. Sorry. <laughs> Wiz's bodyguard, Wiz's security bodyguards. I don't know. Yeah, there's security. They, they have a little like, have a little like training session. So we do that, you know, pretty pretty often. Anyway, cool. but mostly playing with Ryan's hair. What's it like to be BFFs with Pete Wentz now? Dude, BFFs with Pete Wentz. Headphones. He's so awesome, man. It's it's just like he's just such a real dude, and I really appreciate that. And and uh, and it's cool that you know. You never know. I hear a lot of people who sign to people's labels, and they're like, "Oh, it's great to meet you," and then they never see them again. And with Pete, of course, like we see him like every day, and we hang out, and and, uh, and that's awesome. That's you know an unexpected surprise. That I'm glad that we got close, and I can like take care of his baby and chill with him. So. <laughs> his baby's so cute. He just got back yesterday and saying, "No, oh, sorry, I just want to talk about the baby." He's a baby. He's, a he's, a he's got like the same. You know, like Pete has that like stoic look. Like you're like, does Pete hate me right now? Or is he just, is he just, so the baby has the same look. Like, I'm like, oh, what's up, Satan? He's like, 
Why are you touching my cheeks? <laughs> Like, smile for me, please. And then when you get him to smile, it's the most amazing thing. You're like, yes, I worked for it. Anyway, <laughs> who are you gonna? Lonnie back there. Yeah, of course. Well, what was it like when you were on Wolf Watch? Wolf Watch. Uh, Wolf Watch was fun. Um, they were really cool. I, you know, I was a fan of the show and stuff. So, uh, and I had met Tyler kind of before, but he's a uh, he's a great host. He like he really brings it out. He cusses a lot. <laughs> <laughs> he's cursing the whole time. And they're like. So Tyler, can you of course a little bit less with this take? Like it's cool. And he's like, ah, all right, ah. And then you're like, cool, whatever. Uh, but it was great. It was, uh, it was a really, really fun time. Good set. Lots of smoke. And was, oh, and I have a flashlight that they gave me, and it's like a cop flashlight. That thing's like, like 12 pounds. They were like gave it to us. And I was like, oh snap, what am I gonna do with this? So now when like I hear noises in my house at home, like I think someone's gonna rob me, I like bring that out. I'm like, yo, who wants to mess with this? Nobody. Nobody wants to mess with this flashlight. So yeah, yeah. That was my little purchase experience. You want to do two more questions, maybe? Sure, that sounds good. Thank you. Okay, so do you call Hoodie Allen Hoodie or Steven? <laughs> Hoodsworth. 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 Um, Hoodsworth. Um, Stefan. 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 <laughs> go, Stefan. No, I haven't yet. Hoods. Today. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Foodie Allen. Foodie Allen. Call him Steve Witz. Steve Witz. That's what he used to go by. Like Steve when he first started having Steve Yeah, Witz. Really? dude. I'm oh, in. Kreenek Fallon. Sometimes I go with that. <laughs> I did that a long time ago. That was before I actually met him. And we were talking about Jimmy Fallon. And I was like, You're Jimmy Fallon. Uh, yeah, I guess hoods and stuff. Yeah, it kind of, it's so funny. Like I don't know a lot of people that I call four different names on a daily basis. He's one of those for sure. I'm like Stephen Hoods. Yeah, I know, yeah. Hoods work. My Jewish brother. <laughs> We grew, we grew up 10 minutes from each other in Long Island, New York, and I, the first day I met him on this tour was actually the first time I ever met him, and he was, I felt like I've known him, like, since I was in high school, he's just one of those dudes, I'm like, I know where you come from. <laughs> I know you. You from Long Island, too? Yeah. I'm from Long Island. Look at me. Look at me. What is this? You want a hat, too? I don't know. I'm going to do it with that lot. I ask myself that every day. I know. Yeah. Is right, there one more question? Yes, I'll back to you. How's the tour been so far? Like, tour, like what's it like touring so many people? Oh, it's awesome. It's just like this. It's just like a circus. We're just like, what are we doing <laughs> every day? It's the most serious joke you'll ever it's see. It's the most serious <laughs> joke. Like, it's such serious business, and then it just becomes the biggest joke yeah. ever. It really is. It's like, you you know, I'm such a big fan of all the acts on the tour, and you're like, you you imagine what it's like, like, see these arena tours, you're like, wow, it's like backstage. And then just everybody's just like, you know, lots of different smells I like to say, of course. Uh, babies, very dogs, very herbal. Um, and uh, just, like, just people like, just it's just a circus. Yeah, they're on those, what are those things called? The things with the segues without handles? Still, yeah, that's board? what I call them. Yeah, yeah. 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 hoverboards. Yeah. Something called yeah. funky deck? Yeah. Funky yeah. decks. Yeah. Funky, there's just, just like, he's on his funky deck with his dog, and then like, Patrick with his baby, and like, his dogs, and, and it's just like, yo, what is going on? <laughs> and then they get on stage and it's just like this crazy show. It's like it's like summer camp on steroids. <laughs> with with like actual work in yeah, between. Exactly. You know? There was actually a thing last night where you know if uh, if you've seen the show, oh maybe you haven't. Well anyway. Um the Wiz show, he throws out these enormous blow up uh, joints. Yeah. Yeah. Uh into the crowd. Marijuana and cigarettes. Marijuana cigarettes. And um, <laughs> last night, I guess they couldn't find them and they're enormous. They're like they're like ten feet and they couldn't find them. And they didn't throw them out, I guess. And then the guy who's like in charge was like, well, that was lame. We couldn't find them. And they were like. <laughs> Someone was getting upset about balloons and blow up joints not being like visible. What are you doing? Some blow up joints didn't go out of the crowd. Like, what I understand, there was a threat of someone going home because the blow up joints. <laughs> <didn't> <laughs> like, do you imagine getting fired for that? And you come back and you're like, you're, you're, you know, you go back to your wife. Like, Why did you, why'd you get fired? Well, I have to throw the blow up joints. <laughs> The best every day, him just sitting there. Him, I love him blowing it up. He has like a little blow up machine, and he just sits there and he's like, <laughs> and then just like go and that's yeah. his job for like an hour. <laughs> he's just like on his phone. Or something. <laughs> <laughs> nice. 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 Don't do drugs, guys. <laughs> awesome. We'll do picks now. We'll start right here behind the room. We're going to take the line out. Don't do drugs, guys.
Say something real quick. Oh, thanks for watching, guys. Peace. <laughs>